Hello and welcome to Mind Decider, a new and professional tool to make your choice easy and reasonable. In this video, we will see how the companies may use Mind Decider to choose the right location for their overseas production facilities. First, rename main task by clicking on it and typing in a meaningful name, for example, choice of location. Press Center button or open a context menu and select New Subvariant option to create several variants or potential locations. Rename them as USA, Germany, India, Russia and Brazil. If you wish, change the structural form of a diagram with the help of a context menu so that it looked more informative. Open the context menu and select Criteria Editor or press F9. Here we will create folder criteria consisting of several subparameters. Delete the predefined criteria, open the context menu and select Create Folder option. To rename a folder, just click on it and type in your name, resource base, plant costs, labor, infrastructure and logistics, general economic conditions, and climate. You may view the folder content by selecting Open Folder option of a context menu or just press and enter on a folder name. In each folder we will create sub-criteria that define our folder. To create a new criterion, press Insert button on your keyboard or click right mouse button and select New Criterion option. For example, resource base folder will include availability of materials, distance to resources or suppliers, cost, and quality of resources. Then set types, measurement units, minimum and maximum scores for the folders. To set units and scores, just click on them and type in required values. Or you may choose the units from the selection box of a context menu. Green color means that a folder or criterion is positive, that is, the more the better. To change the time from the positive to negative, select negative criterion option from a context menu. You may add comments in a comment field to describe the criteria for the other users. Temperature criterion of climate folder has optimal values from 20 to 30 degrees, given the largest contribution to variance rate. Therefore, we need to account for that. Select the criterion and open the context menu. Select Convert to Graph option. Click on an estimate line to create one more interval. Move green square points and lines to plot a curve where the contribution to rate grows from 0 to 20 degrees, then reaches the peak, continues to 30 degrees and then gradually diminishes. Click right mouse button on the criterion name to open the context menu and select special option. Here select folders criterion option to make a folder dependent on its subcriteria. The criteria should be attributed with specific significances. Initially all folders and criteria are equally significant. You may type the radius for each criterion directly in the input field, but the more convenient way to do that is a balancing procedure. Click right mouse button and select Fast Balance option. Here you will compare folder criteria and define which one is more significant. Choose the left or right variant or equal mark if the criteria seem equally significant to you. Perform balancing for subcriteria in each folder. As a result, you will get a table of criteria folders where resources based criterion is most significant and climate is the least. Now let's get to estimates. In our example, many criteria will have to deal with time characteristics for which we will use the time analysis mode and set a timeline. Click on the time analysis button in the main project menu or press F7. Scroll mouse button or press minus on your keypad to zoom out a scale so it could fit several years. Here we will analyze the time period from the beginning of 2009 to the end of 2011. To move a variant, press left mouse button on it. Keeping button pressed, drag a mouse to the left or right. To stretch a shorten variant duration, press left mouse button on intervals boundary. A black dot with triangle arrow will appear. Keeping button pressed, 
Drag a mouse to the left or right. To set estimates, select estimation mode. Click on a folder name in the panel below the variant or open a context menu to select open folder option. Double click on a criterion to open estimation panel. Type in the values in the input field. Or press indicator bar and drag the mouse to the left or right until the right value is found. In time analysis mode, double clicking on the criterion name will open a time curve, evaluating the progress of parameters during an analyzed period of time. For some unmeasurable criteria like business infrastructure, transportation facilities, or climate conditions, we recommend to use precision balancing procedure. Open the estimation panel, click right mouse button on the criterion name, and select precision balance option. Here, open the context menu to select one of the wage relates to compare location variants. For example, quantity comparison. Then, click on any compared variant and drag the wells to the left or right to set a needed proportion. OK, we have all locations estimated and time curves plotted. Click right mouse button on any line connecting main task with variants to choose a processing method and prompt message type. Here, we select the best choice method. The choice of green line will depend on the chosen work mode, estimation or time analysis. In estimation mode, the program chose Germany as the best place to locate a production facility. Click Report button in the right upper corner menu or press F8 to see why this variant was selected. In time analysis mode, variants are ranked as a specific moment during the period in question. Such a moment is represented by a green vertical slider. To move the slider, press on it and drag the mouse to the left or right. When you move the line, all estimates are recalculated according to a new time point. In our example, a breaking point where the best choice changes from the USA to Germany is the beginning of February 2011. So if a company plans to open its production plan in Germany, it's better to do that after this time point. Click Report button to or press F8 to view the explanation. Green field shows rate of the variant during the specified period of time. Moving a mouse pointer on any column will evoke a prompt message with exact value of the variance rate. If the rate of the given variant is lower than others, an orange field will appear above the green one, showing the highest rate at a certain moment of time. Note that this is a simplified example to demonstrate the basic features of our software. In real conditions, you may come up with more locations or pick out the other criteria that matter for you in each particular case. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We hope it will help you to learn the basic functions of MindDecider and use them in future.